Um, today is actually Shinivas Acharya. Yesterday was. Oh, yeah. yesterday, yeah. His yesterday appearance. Yesterday. That's right. Yes, yesterday. Oh, and we can very quickly just go through a few points. We won't go through the whole presentation. It's always good to remember these great personalities. Rose, I know this shloka. Go on then. Say it. I'll read the English, yeah? Go for it, go for it. I pay obeisances to the Supreme Lord Shri Krishna who has appeared in five aspects as a devotee, as an expansion of devotee, as an avatar of a devotee, as a pure devotee and as a devotional energy. Hare Krishna. Right. So... Who is he? Yeah, okay. They are essentially non-different from one, one another. The pancha tatwa. But to relish uh, different tastes of uh, relationships, they manifested as a devotee, that's Chaitanya, expansion of a devotee, Nityananda, avatar of a devotee, Advaita, energy of the devotee, Gadadhar, and the pure devotee, Shivas. Who is he an incarnation of? Anybody remember? Narad Muni. Of Narad Muni. Narad. Excellent. And where do you think he is in this picture? Uh, means. Uh, Here? Means the, Last on the, the left side. Right. The left yeah? side of yeah. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Yeah, that's good. Shiva's Pandit. So this is in Mayapur. These deities yes, are like, Prabhu, I heard Mayapur. that in Mayapur, the mm. Jay has been constructed and was painted. They have to construct Vijay. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's right. They're doing that for the TOVP. These oh. deities are about uh, 8 to 10 foot tall. Huge. And um, this is Shivas. Mm -hmm. This is uh, Gadadhar, Chaitanya, Nityananda, Advaita. I like, I like the structure. Yeah, it's fantastic. Wow. Really fantastic. So the hands. Balaram, Mahavishnu, Ratharani, and Narad Muni. It's so beautiful. So whoever hasn't been there, we need to be there sometime soon. <laughs> soon Raja, after. I will be there. <laughs> you better be. Now, only these three are Vishnu Tattva. That means that they are part of Godhead. These are the energies. Radharani is the topmost, Ladini energy. And Narad Muni is, in this regard, pure devotee. So Shivas, uh, just spend maybe five minutes, I think. Uh, Jaladhar Pandit was a Vedic Brahman with five sons. And uh, Shivas was the second of the fifth, five sons, born in 1456. And Chaitanya, when was he born, Chaitanya? Don't yeah, 1486. 1486. 30 years. 30 years after yeah. Shivas. His family moved from Navadri, uh, to Manavadri from Srihat. And this is the original place where they used to live in uh, Slat. Slat. Yeah, Shivas Angam. But this is uh, not in Navadri. Um, actually, let's go to the pictures if there are any, because she was, he was actually, he was always teased by um, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Chaitanya he, Yeah, he used to tease him a lot and she was used to always tell him off. Uh, let me just see if I can find some of the pictures. Ah, this is it. So this is, um, this is Shiva's Angam in Naudu, in Mayapur, Mayapur, where they used Naudu. to, they used to do the Kirtan here. And uh, used yes, to start, yeah, for long periods of time. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, they used to lock the doors and just be in ecstasy in the, mm -hmm. this nectar of the holy name. Mm -hmm. All night long. All night long. Um, and this is the murtis there. This is the panchatattva. And um, in that Shiva's Anga. Let me see if there's any more pictures. Next time we'll go through all of this uh, when his disappearance day. What have we got here? Yeah, why? Uh -huh. hmm. 
Mm, that was a bit weird. One day, his son died in the kirtan. He was afraid that the crying of the women would disturb the kirtan, Mahaprabhu's kirtan. So he told them, you better not cry. Uh, if they did cry, he said, he will throw himself into the river. He didn't want to disturb the kirtan. So Mahaprabhu performed the kirtan until late night. And then Mahaprabhu, he could see there was something wrong. He said, something is not right. Has some tragedy taken place in, in your house? So some of the devotees said, yes, Shivasi's only son died in the evening, about an hour after sunset. Mahaprabhu asked, why did no one say anything before now? Devotees answered, Shivas Pandit told us not to say anything because he was afraid it would interfere with your pleasure in the Kirtan. And then Mahaprabhu, look at this. How could I ever abandon devotees who love me to this extent? And he started to shed tears. And later on, Mahaprabhu said, I am your son. Actually, yeah, let's see if that comes. So this is an incredible pastor. And this is the Kirtan and this is the lamentation you know, by, by the yeah. family. Yeah. After this, Mahaprabhu went inside and sat beside the child's dead body and brought him back to consciousness. He asked, child, why did you want to leave the house of such a devotee as Shiva's? So then the child replied, the few days that I was to spend in Shiva's Pandit's house are over. Now I am following your wish in going elsewhere. I am a living being without independence. I cannot go against your wishes. Please be merciful that I never forget your lotus feet wherever I go. So this shows the eternity of the son, of the soul. When Shiva's Pandit's family members heard this child speak such wisdom, they immediately forgot their distress and stopped mourning. And the um, Mahaprabhu said to Shivas, from this day on, Nityananda and I will be your sons. We will never leave you. Mm -hmm. So there was a nice lesson to learn from detachment from material relations and attachment to spiritual relations is important. This is a really amazing pastime, such a fantastic thing to learn. And we've Raja, been teaching... the pastime. Sorry? What was that, Riyadh? I like the past thing. No. And we've been reading about that in the Canto 7, how Prahlad, he was not at all attached to his relations. And um, he's such an advanced devotee, you know, such an advanced devotee. Not at, at all, uh, det at, uh, completely at, detached from, um, from um, the family relationships. And unfortunately, we have, we are completely attached. Uh, and that's our biggest downfall. We're so attached. We don't, we don't understand that these family relationships, they're actually very temporary and they don't matter um, in this world. We have to become attached to the spiritual connections. That's the Lord and his devotees. But if you go and tell that to anybody, they'll think you're mad. <clears throat> but that's a reality. That is the real reality. So these are lessons for us to learn. Okay, so thank you so much. We can go to... Oh, any, any, any comments, any questions? Anybody like to add anything to that? Uh, we went very fast through Shiva's Pandit's life history. Uh, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, yeah. everyone. <laughs> yeah, Shivas, uh, he was uh, he was so happy always in the kirtan that uh, there was a brahmana who was very mm. envious of him. So the brahmana he mm. he got all the paraphernalia from uh, Kali and Durgama and he put in front of um, Shivas uh, house. Then um, after everybody was asking, uh, he was trying to kind of blaspheme and say that look at this, he he pretends to be to love God, but then he is performing Durga and Kali Puja. So nobody believed that. And mm. then after a couple of days, a Brahmana got leprosy. Mm. And then he he went to the river Ganga. 
And uh, there he met Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who was having his bath in the Ganga. And he asked for forgiveness. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, no, he was very angry. He said, you try to blaspheme my devotee, so I will not forgive you. Then um, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu left from there. And the Brahmana stayed there for some time. And then he went back to Shiva's uh, house and he asked for forgiveness. He said, I did it, so please forgive me. Mm -hmm. Then Shiva, uh, he, forgive, he could forgive the Brahmana. And then the Brahmana get his um, his health back. So the, here we we can learn that. Um, go ahead, Prabhuji. You had something to say? Well, uh, just that uh, Shivas he would tell everybody, look, I worship. Uh, yes, yes, he said that. He said I I I worship, but nobody would believe him. <laughs> then um, then Shivas he forgive he forgave, and then lesson here is when when if we offend anyone, right? Sinful activities, we can ask for forgiveness from Lord and he forgives, but offending is kind of offense he, he did. So we, we should go back to, this, um, to the devotee and ask forgiveness from them. Lord will not forgive, he doesn't interfere in there. So you offended a devotee, you go to the devotee and you ask forgiveness and you try to do some, uh, do some work for that devotee. That's why um, like um, offending devotee is very, very great sin. Mm. Okay, Hare Krishna. Thank you. Anybody... Sorry, Bauji, I am very busy these days. I'll just join late and I'm not participating much. So sorry about that. No, that's okay. That's okay, Maji. Okay. Uh, anybody else like to share anything about Shivas? Okay, otherwise we can go to. Babuji? Yes. We can't hear you, Riyaj. Raji, can you hear me now? Yes. Raji, I want to share a picture. Yes, you can. Go ahead. Would you wait one second? So, Prabhuji, Prabhuji. Ah, yeah. Well, oh, nice picture. Very nice picture. Yeah, I haven't seen this one before. Very good picture. Prabhuji, here is Srivastava. Yeah. Good. And this is Advaita Charya. And it, this is Nityanand Mahaprabhu. This is Karadhar Pandit. And this is Shaitanya Mahaprabhu. Okay. Well done. Beautiful pictures, Riyanj. Yeah, well done. Yeah. Very good. Thank you for sharing. Okay. So.